Welcome back to Travel Show Live. Uh, well, we're very fortunate that Bill Evans is here from Channel 7, WABC. Thank you, sir, for being here. Hey, it's an honor. Thanks for having me. You know what? You're so kind to do this because people right now are on the site. They're saying, okay, we're coming to New York City. We really want to know what the weather's like. Yeah. Who better than you? Sure, who better? Do you know anybody who could give us this information? <laughs> Not that I know. Okay, very good. There's nobody. <laughs> now, the nice thing about New York City is it's a, it's a city of, you know, eight, nine million people, whatever number you look at, and it's a city of extremes, and right. we get some extreme weather. There's no question about it. You get four full seasons here, so you got to dress for that. Right. And you got to come in the wintertime with a big, long, heavy coat. Right. Not just a half jacket. Because it's getting a little windy. You're from the south, and you're from the west. Don't right. You want something full to wear and something thermal. Down okay. is the best. But in the wintertime, you know, the temperatures are the coldest in February. Okay. Late January, February is the coldest part of the season. That's also when we get the most snow. Now, March is a very volatile month also. We, that's, this is why we call it the Lion Month. Okay. We can have 70 degree weather in, in New York City. We can have 30 degree weather in New York City. We can have thunderstorms. We can have a blizzard. Some okay. of our biggest blizzards have come in the month, month of March. Really? Yes, big ones. So you want to dress for that. If you're coming to the city, check on the weather, check on the websites, know which week has what type of weather. Mm -hmm. Weather starts to stabilize here in late April and into March. April, we see a few thunderstorms. You know, April showers bring the May flowers. Right. That's true. May starts to dry out. And then as you get into May, I think the best two times of the year in New York City, spring and fall. Spring yeah. into June, early July is fantastic. Fourth of July here is great. Temperatures are dry. You're looking at temperatures getting now into the 40s in February and March, 50s and 60s as we get into April, nice. 60s, 70s May, 70s, 80s as we get into July and into August. And it's also dry here in July and, and June. Good you point. get some humidity that starts to pick up. Worst month of the year for heat here, August. Temperatures in the mid to the upper 80s. High, yeah. Sometimes it can go to 110. It has and gone with up the that humidity, high. Yeah. And with the humidity, it's very oppressive. A lot of times people realize, they don't, they don't think about it, but once those buildings heat up outside, I mean, it's really, rain is the only thing to really cool the place down a little bit. And that's, that's right. where it can be really oppressive. Because you've got that plus the concrete. Plus the some, people. And you have no wind. And you have a, you have a lot no of people. Wind, right? Right. So you can have a dome over the city where actually the air quality can go bad. You can get high ozone levels in August. That's mm -hmm. when we see that. Late in August, we start to see the temperature change. And almost to that second week in September, it changes right on the calendar, just mm -hmm. about every time. Sometimes you might have a week past the first day of fall that you start to see that's a little warm, mm -hmm. but after that, the leaves change, the colors go, the colors and the temperature are, the temperature really changes. That helps the leaves change color, mm -hmm. but it's mostly the sunlight. The trees and other days get shorter, they start to change colors. Then our driest months of the year are September, October, and November. Okay. So if you're coming here, you may not likely need rain gear, but it starts to get a little colder as we get toward the end of the year. First snows are generally not until after Thanksgiving. Then we'll see some snows in December, but the snow time in New York City really starts around that third week, fourth week in December. And plus, if it starts raining too, you can buy a $3 umbrella for eight bucks you know, always, when it starts raining. You know? Those guys always seem to come out of nowhere yeah, they really, when the rain comes it's out. It's funny how that works out. Yeah. Uh, in your opinion, the sweet spot in, in, for you to come and visit when would it be? I would say meteorologically speaking, May, June, up until July, fourth weekend, mm -hmm. and then come back um, first of September, yeah. October, November. It's fabulous here. Temperatures are low, the heat is not oppressive, and then it's not too cold. See, you can always count on Bill to make weather interesting. <laughs> not bad. Good. We'll, we'll be right back. Hang on. <laughs>